brothers and sisters, you're very welcome to another series of miracles and testimonies of the Eucharist. I'm super excited today to introduce you to a very special guest, and if I could say a friend as well, someone I know for the last one or two years, and her name is Melona von Habsburg. Melona happens to be an Archduchess, a member of the Austrian-Hungarian imperial family that ruled in Europe for so many centuries. And uh, Melona is particularly known for her devout faith and her experience of the loving, tender love of the Father and an experience that she had once in her life in Medjugorje that led her to a whole life of service uh, to that beautiful place where our Blessed Mother comes to, be, to school us in her love, uh, to school us in the love of God, school us in the great peace of the heavenly city of Jerusalem. So anyway, enough of me. I just want to introduce Melona to all of you. Melona, you're so very welcome Thank to you. be with us on our program. It's lovely to be here, really is. It's a treat. Fantastic. Yes. We've been on this 33-day journey, and uh, it has been amazing. We've already made our consecration <laughs> on, on Corpus Christi. And, uh, and uh, so it's great to have the conversation continued. Yes. So, Melona, <coughs> How important is our Eucharistic Lord for you? Well, for me, it became the very essence of every day and the purpose of life in a certain way. Because it started when I had my first big experience in Medjugorje. From that day on, I, when I go into a church, that's where he is. And I go and I receive everything from it and bring everything back to him. That's what Mass is for me, so I kind of go. Sometimes I have the impression I live a day from one Mass to the next and I look forward to the next Mass mm -hmm. because for me that's the moment when life becomes alive inside mm -hmm. of myself. Not always in my feelings, but in the reality. Mm -hmm. I have the impression my day has no point and beginning, mm -hmm. you know, no source and no thing mm -hmm. without Mass. Mm -hmm. That's how it is for me. Beautiful. Yes. It's so important. You know, it's this <coughs> amazing mystery that the Lord has left His Bride, His Church. Yes. And there's sacrifice as well for us yes. to offer. Yes. Something that we can enter into His love of the Father. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's huge. It's so huge. If we knew, I think, <clears throat> if we were ever to live the reality, the fullness of what Mass is, I don't know if we would <laughs> just evaporate, you know. Yeah. <laughs> because it's just massive. Everything that He did yeah. becomes present. Yeah. I mean, and for uh, me, it's the purest worship that ever was and ever will be. Absolutely, and it absolutely is. I remember St. Padre Pio says, you know, without the Mass, the world wouldn't be, because I guess this is the, the center point of the new creation now. Yes, it that is. That it exists, yeah. which is the Church, which, yes. is, which is the Kingdom of God. Yes. And the center of the Kingdom of God is the celebration of yes. the Mass. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Yes, completely. That, that is, it's the biggest thing that exists on Earth, I think. And uh, would you, I know from, from a lot of your time in Medjugorje, I mean, one of the, the major pillars of Medjugorje certainly is the Eucharistic Adoration. Yep. I mean, I've, I've had the opportunity to bring pilgrims there uh, during my time in Ireland. Uh, and I've been there for my time when I was studying in Rome. And I was struck, always struck, by how much healing people experience in that time. Or even, mm -hmm. you know, people have been afflicted and they, they find some kind of freedom. But in your own life, uh, Eucharistic Adoration, would you say that that is a pillar too for your own spirituality? Yes, of course, because the Mass and then follows staying with Him, you I know, and that. learning how to be, to spend time with Him, to sit, you know. And le curé d'Ars, you know, the Saint Jean-Marie Vianney, used to say, I sit and I look at Him and He looks back at me. And yes. I think that's wonderful because we yes. don't have to perform, Absolutely. we can just sit. And he knows us through, inside out. He's our Amazing. Jesus, our Lord, our, you know, everything. And everything was created through him. So there he sits, making himself so small and is so huge. That is just like sort of mind boggling, I find, you know. And it, it's just only somebody really big can make himself so small, you know, and so in our hands. Amazing. Yes, I think so. And, and so since my Medjugorje life, also working with a priest like Father Slavko, mm how I saw what is for him, you know, the Holy Eucharist, and how it took it to heart when a lady asked us to adore Jesus and fall in love with the Blessed Sacrament, mm -hmm. adore him day and night, you know. Mm -hmm. So he put it to, he started with the night mm -hmm. adorations. Mm -hmm. They already had the Thursday one, and mm -hmm. then he introduced at the beginning Wednesday, Saturday, mm -hmm. later at night, mm -hmm. and then it was changed to Tuesday and Saturday, mm -hmm. 
later, recently, and it's now since COVID directly after mass. So we don't have the late, late night adoration anymore, but it was just, you know, when he started that, he did it very small, seven people mm. were together. And so I saw how wow. huge the miracle is because everybody wow. was tired and didn't want to continue opening the church and stuff. And he just said, we have to do it because she said it. And mm. while responding to her call, it, it, heaven responded. Yeah, it's and amazing. Didn't, didn't stay silent. Yeah, look Some, at what it's now. Something I've noticed about sacrifice and adoration yes. is explosive. Yes. Like when we sacrifice ourselves to allow the Lord to be exposed, and it's going to take a parish or a community great sacrifice mm -hmm. to allow the Lord to, to be exposed. You have to commit. It's commitment, mm -hmm. and it's but it's then that we treat Him as the King, oh, where He reigns yes, in the monstrance, yeah, yeah, where yeah. He allows. Yeah. His, there's a mission, St. Peter Julian Neymar, the great French saint, says, has a very interesting theology about, or insight, I think, because he's considered the apostle of the Eucharist. You know, he was canonized in front of all the bishops of the world at Vatican II. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. he was canonized by John XXIII at Vatican II with all the bishops Man. of the world. It was almost like the Lord, in his providence, allowed that to say that his life yeah. is important for all the churches yes. and he's considered the apostle of the eucharist you know so centered in the eucharist and he said that when the lord is exposed in the monstrance we put him to work uh, yeah that's the truth that he starts yeah, to that's what he, he has does. a mission from the yes, monstrance because he's he has to work yes. <laughs> in our yeah. in our hearts and that's what yeah. also the school is that we understood with our ladies exactly that yeah. because if we run out and just shove him away again he will always do something but we don't allow him so much yes and as he's so terribly terribly respectful or terribly respectful i wish sometimes he wasn't but he is yes. so respectful because we are so free if it is to become true love it has to become has mm. to come from our side first mm. he won't impose although he gave us everything he mm. still holds back i don't know he's just extraordinary mm. and um and so the more we permit him the more he can do mm. obviously you know like you know mm. but i didn't know i found out i learned and i could never mm. stop learning mm -hmm. so and but what i see is when people spend a lot of time in adoration the waters flow it's amazing. Yes. He just transforms us. Yes, he does. The church has <coughs> joyously announced that blessed Carlos Ocutis is going to be yes. canonized. And one of the things he said is that the shortcut to heaven is the Eucharist. Up there completely. And yeah. uh, along with another great Italian saint who I love, who is, um, you know, a Dominican third order, is um, Pier Giorgio Frassati. Frassati, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Who's a great Eucharistic devotion yes. as well. And yes. saying about the strength that we get from the Holy Eucharist. Yes. And this idea that. <coughs> That if uh, I think it's blessed Carlos Acutis, that if you know we put ourselves in the sun, we get a suntan. <laughs> when yes. we go in front of the eternal <laughs> sun, S O N, yes. Jesus Christ, yes. he transforms our soul. Just being with him, he it's does. incredible. Completely. Yeah. Something you said earlier on brought me up, uh, back to something somebody just told me this morning. Actually, a little testimony. They called me to say, you know, Father, I was sitting in adoration this morning, and it's the first time I felt Jesus looking at me. Oh yes. Like looking like, at me, and she said. She didn't know what to do with it. It was just incredible. And I said that that is kind of what he said about St. Yes. John Vianney. Absolutely. He looks at me, I yes. look at him. And I he always does. like to add, and we love each other. Yes, on top of it. Yeah. Yes. He looks at me, I look at him, we love Lovingly. each other. Lovingly, yes. Yeah, you know, exactly. it's, it's, it's that yes. loving gaze, you yes, know. Yes, because he becomes a friend. Absolutely. And then we know him again. We get yeah. to know him. And he's not a yeah. memory of the past. He yeah. becomes a real active friend of nowadays' yeah. lives. Yeah. That has to happen. That's important. That needs to happen. Beautiful. Yes. That's the only way we can go forward. In, in, your, in your own knowledge, because you have been a translator to Father, Father Slavko, you've been in so many apparitions mm -hmm. uh, with the visionaries of, of, of when Our Lady gives a message that you're translating yes. her very words, yes. words from heaven. Yes. <laughs> you know Mary's school in Medjugorje so well. Can you say something about how heaven through her is guiding us towards a Eucharistic devotion? Mm -hmm. Or what is the theme of the Eucharist. We already touched on it, how important mm -hmm. it is, but anything that comes to your own heart about Mary and her advice? Well, there are different things. From the beginning, she asked everybody to go to confession regularly. Mm. That is a different way than to approach the sacraments altogether, because we understand things differently, no? Mm. And we get advice, and then we shall become closer to Jesus in the sacrament, in, in the Holy Eucharist, because the more we are open and free, mm. the more he can come. That's one thing. Mm. Secondly, she asked us to put Mass first, as the very center of our lives. It becomes so. When we start to go regularly, we can have a certain boredom mm. sometimes, or desert, obviously, because it's not always on feeding mm. level, but it's the loyalty. 
Yeah. And the Lord will always reward that in one way or another. Keep showing up. <clears throat> yes, he does. Yeah, he's mm. the one who does. And what, I, what touches me is always, <clears throat> you know, when our lady looks at everybody so personally and her gaze rests on her child, imagine when the Lord comes in our heart. He isn't busy with somebody else. He's 100% concentrated on us. We can have our heads going like that, you know, mm, that's beautiful. like snowflake dome. But he is not. He's completely only there for us. And that is so humbling, I find, and so touching, you know, and so it just, it's just so precious. I don't know how to, what words to use because it's so, that he is like that with us, you know, and so tender and so real and so strong as well, and just so good. I don't know. Mm. I mean, you know, no word will ever suffice, let's say, be enough to, 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 to give the value of what he does with us when he comes to us, mm -hmm. the full mm -hmm. Jesus, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's not somebody who is, how can I say, he, he makes himself kind of poor before us, which I find even worse, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. The humility they have is so, mm, you know, it just leaves me speechless, it mm -hmm. does. Because his mother stands there humbly, and there he is on the altar, humble, little, invisible, and comes and gives himself to us. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a, yeah, it's a mind it, you become mystery. just silent. I don't know, frémir, you say in French, right? It starts to go uh, inside <laughs> because it's like, gosh, you know, and that's God. I mean, please, you know. Mm. Wow. Yes, so that that's how she schooled us, yeah? Mm. And then I would say <clears throat> the big thing where she makes us aware also is how she schooled us on how we love our priests. Mm. And she calls them my priests, mm. and she calls them our pastors, mm. to pray for them that their heart becomes like the heart of Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, and that <clears throat> that we would always fast for them, love them, never criticize them, and and be responsible for them as well, how we treat them. And she, through Miriana, she spoke a lot about that. So I always learned from the visionaries what they bring from Our Lady School, no? Mm -hmm. So she always used to say, if we lose the respect and the love for our priests. We shall lose the respect and love for our church, and in the end lose the faith in God. Mm. And that is something that we cannot risk. So mm. she's very serious about that. Mm. And that brings us back also to the reality of the Holy Eucharist. Because if we, if we don't love, respect our priests into whose hands he chooses to come, mm -hmm. we miss out on what's happening on the altar. Mm -hmm. Because we can't. We become arrogant and we become, you know, sort of, I don't know how to say that, without respect, mm -hmm. then it doesn't work anymore. Because mm -hmm. the priest himself is in respect of what he receives. Mm -hmm. And even if he can't be, we have to, because mm -hmm. we have to also help our priests, you know, mm -hmm. when they go through their turmoil and difficult Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. We're normal. I'm going to speak. Yes. I'm a priest, so yeah. <laughs> we're, so you know. we're normal yeah. human beings like yes. everybody else. And often in a parish trying to serve with so many different it's opinions it's and, hard, and desires. and. And you're trying. You're actually doing an impossible thing. Yes. In one sense, but God just works through it. He does. And we all have to be patient with each other. As yes, we, yes. As and that's all fine. On this road to holiness. That's God's will. Yeah. There's no yeah. Mr. Perfect in this world. It doesn't Correct. exist. Yeah, yeah. Never has been. Never will be. And that's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's not meant to be. But we need to be in adoration of God in order mm. to understand the vocation, mm. because yes. Mirina then led us ahead in <clears throat> that understanding, and said because the Lord will judge the quality of the. Such a dot, or how do you say that? In the priesthood is yes. that the quality of the priesthood, yeah. but according to his love and not yeah. according to our judgment. Yeah. That she made a very clear point there yeah. <clears throat> to somebody who was very critical of the pa parish priest. So she, it seems to be a very serious topic, and I can also see how delicate our lady is with her priests because on Thursdays in Evans Chapel there's only for priests. Hmm. So when you're the spoiled translator who's allowed to translate for priests, I find that always particularly beautiful because wow. I see the chapel full of all sorts of priests. Yeah. Of priests. But she's yeah. called from all over the world. Yes, Amazing. every shape that you can imagine sits there and you think, yeah. my gosh, you know, they all yeah. know, she knows them all, she knows their journey. Mm. She's been there when they heard the call, yeah. the struggle, and oh, yeah. man, they come back from difficult situations, yeah. more and more so. Some come from the war, some come, you know, mm. bishops who come from Iraq and priests who come from yeah. persecutions of oh. all sorts in these yeah. days, yeah. and very unfair, some of them yeah. really unjust, yeah. killing their hearts completely, yeah. and, um, and that's wrong. And, yeah. yet, and then she will pray in Aramaic, yeah. she will give them encouragement, and she calls them my beloved. Mm. Yeah? Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. 
Ljubljeni moi, my beloved, which I find so delightful. Yeah. Every time she does that, I sort of melt behind next to Eva. I think, yeah, there they go. There they sit, mm. you know, all of them. And some of them can hardly cope with it because mm. they're so hurt in their, I would say, identity as a priest, in their mm. dignity as a priest, that they start to cry. Mm. And I've seen them really, really suffer because love hurts when you haven't received it mm -hmm. or when you've been bashed. It's mm -hmm. a relief, but it's also painful mm. to see in the end how loved you are. Mm -hmm. Have to reaccept it and reaccept the call to the priest, to then the importance mm -hmm. of the Holy Eucharist, because it's a lonely journey, yeah. you know, very yeah. often a very lonely journey yeah. for the priest. And that's why it's it's so important for us as priests um, and for us as a people of God, but as celibates, generally consecrated souls, a priest to to have that real identity of, yes. of the significant other in the Eucharist. Yes, it's very I mean, important. the Lord is with us everywhere, and we're always <coughs> with the Lord. But uh, we all want tangible contact. Yes, we, we need want to spend to be loved, you know, to be loved in mm -hmm. the most contact way. It's not enough to talk somebody on the phone or to talk no. to somebody even behind the wall. That's why I say, Lord, you know, you're in the tabernacle. I know you're here, and your presence not stopped by Open the door. The but door. I want to see you. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, I want to see your face because I believe you're there. You know. <laughs> yes. You know, it's it's a strange thing to talk to somebody behind the door. Yes. You know, and I, know. I think it's even odd. I think that's part of the Lord's plan that eventually this is my crazy ideas. <laughs> that eventually he wants this Eucharistic reign, that where every parish would be so sacrificial that he yes. wouldn't have to be kept in the tabernacle and that he'd be exposed and, yeah, and, and, and there freely with his people. But that takes a lot of sacrifice, that takes inconvenience, that takes so much yeah, for the Lord to reach that that place, you know. <laughs> so please God, I yes. think that's part of Mary's dream. Yes, it is, because she wants, she schools our hearts, you know, to put Jesus first to put God very, very first. Mm. So that's a school in itself, isn't it? Mm. That you understand you're not, not doing His will by sitting with Him. Mm. That it's not wasting time, not being a luxury. It's a necessity, but we don't know that enough yet. Mm -hmm. But Mother Teresa is strong on that, no? Right. She says the only moments not wasted is with Him, yeah. <laughs> with the Lord yeah. in the Blessed Sacrament. Yeah. And the intimacy with Him, yes. she says, is the least wasted moments. Yeah. I, I think, I think as a, I think, I think, that it's so important. I know in my own life, I keep trying to remind myself, and it's one of my passions, my goals, my mission. Because the Lord had to school me myself over my years and my journey as a priest, because I'm a very active person, a very extroverted person. And so it took me a while to overcome a guilt that I had, that, that if I spent a lot of time in silent prayer, that I was wasting time that I could be doing for a million other good things in service of lots of things. But it, it took me a while for the Lord to really just take out that lie out of me and realize, well, no, I'm worthy, first of all. I'm your first neighbor. Mm -hmm. I'm worthy of all your love and your adoration and your prayer. And then that is always never just for me or for, for the Lord, it's for everybody. So, yeah, and you're sitting with your, you know, when Our Lady says, my, she says she gives us only her motherly blessing. But the biggest blessing on earth is the blessings of my priests, because mm. that's my son Jesus Christ blessing you. So sit when you sit with him, you're sitting with the one who is giving you his flock. Mm -hmm. He knows them all. Mm -hmm. And the more you're one with him, the more he will be with your flock. Mm -hmm. And the more you will know them, and the more it just becomes a unity, you know? I a that. oneness. Oh, yeah. so completely. So completely. Yeah. Yeah. It's just you're so with beautiful. The source. You're sitting with yes. the source. Yes. And he's a person, yeah, you know, absolutely. and he's a loving, loving, loving yeah. person, yeah. lovely man, I mean, lovely yeah. God, lovely yeah. friend, lovely yeah. everything, everything, no? Yes. And I think at the time, you know, once I was wondering about how it must have been at the time when Jesus just went up to heaven and they had mass at the yeah. time, mm -hmm. how lady must have felt when he took communion, mm. I mean, please, you know. And I think at the time, they knew him so well, so they mm. would have talked about him and remembered, mm. do you remember last week when he did this mm. and that? Mm. Do you is so lively now, mm. and we have to come back to that. Mm -hmm. That Jesus becomes a real friend that we know, yeah. not somebody strange that we talk about, mm. but somebody who is really here with us now. Mm. That's what his mother teaches us by appearing mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. Therefore, it matters that she appears because with that she brings him. Yes. She never comes just for her own no. career no. or her own whatever. She's not no. that type of woman. No. Yeah. She wouldn't be who she is if she oh, were. Absolutely. But she brings him, yeah. and that means he becomes alive. Yeah, because she went. I often think of this, you know, in Fatima too as well, which I have a great love for the apparitions in Fatima. Mm -hmm. One of the descriptions when they saw Mary, they saw the light, her light, and they knew the, God, the light was God. Yes, they said that. And so like when 
Mary is appearing and she's glowing. Yeah. What is she glowing? She's glowing with Jesus. Yes. She's full of Jesus. Yes. So he is there with her in yes, the apparition. Yes, 100%. There's n she doesn't exist without him. Correct. She has no... She, n yeah, and Francisco said that, the little vision, you yes, know, he said yeah. the light of God came out of her and penetrated our soul. Yes. And to know that, for a little guy yeah, like that, yeah. to know Amazing. that and recognize yes, that is... Yes is something else in itself, yes, yeah? <laughs> really? <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really. <laughs> and once I asked Maria something about Our Lady, and I said to her, what is the difference when you look at us and at her? And she says, the main difference is when I look at her, she is crystal clear, because she mm. never said no to God. We all mm. did time out, God, I can't anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause it. Give me a I'm break. too much pleasure, yeah. you know, like really, pausa. you know? Yes, That's pause it. <laughs> <laughs> La pausa, coffee, <laughs> cigarettes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, because she didn't have that weakness that comes from our sinful state, yeah. not from our basic stuff. She didn't have that. So her whole authority, her shining, is because the whole of God is with her. Yes. She never does anything without Him. And that's our journey. Yes. Father Jesse, that's yeah. for us. And yeah. she, when she comes the first time when they saw her with the baby in her arms, it's all always with Him. Mm. And then she started talking and teaching go to confession, mm. peace, my son is peace. It's all about that, yeah? And he sends her. So we get to know him again through her, how she knows him, and mm. how he wants us to be known through her. Because he chose her for that, and that's her school. Mm -hmm. It will never be a detour. Mm -hmm. Never, ever. <laughs> N nobody must be afraid that she's, she, she's not like that. She's just not that type of lady. <laughs> she's a magnet oh, she's to great. the Lord. She's wonderful. Oh, yeah. She's my soul glorifies the Lord. Such a good woman, you know. Yeah. And when Ivan speaks, he says so much goodwill, so much yeah. warmth. There's just yeah. nothing not good, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And if she's yeah. like that, then who is the source of it? Yeah. Our God. Yeah. And he well, says, the light of our God. I think that's really crucial in our meditation because many people have a father wound of God the Father. And sin has, the Catechism says, sin creates in us a distrust yes, it does. of God's goodness and His love. Even the, even the little venial sins. Yes. And I've often felt, as what you just said, that Mother Mary is the secret because our wound is not against her. Mm -mm. It's against God. And because mm -hmm. we even know Jesus is our judge. Yep. And even though he will judge us with his great light and his love. But, yeah, but, but still, you know, people can have a fear sometimes around Jesus and God the Father. But, but they, they don't. It's very rare you'd find somebody afraid of Mary. But they can go to her because they know that, you know, there's this. <laughs> But at the end of the day, we have to join the dots. And Mary gets all her goodness, her kindness from the Father. Yes. And so she, it's through being with her that she heals that wound of the yes. Father wound in us, Very I much. think. Yes, because she received the Son. Correct. You know, yeah. she had a wonderful relationship with yeah. the Father. And I think also when you look at the original sin, what we know from the Bible, it's always the mistrust was the first thing. Correct, yeah. Because that's what Satan does. Yeah. He doesn't love God. He knows, but he doesn't love. Yeah. And therefore, he puts away the love. Yeah. And he says, God knows. I had the liar, you know. Yeah. God loves. Yeah. And that's when he put the doubt in yeah. our fathers. Yeah. And that is where we are su suffering, the break of the trust. Yeah. And she doesn't have that. Yeah. She never mistrusted for a yeah. half an inch of a second. She knows God who he is. Yes. For, because she doesn't have, she's already the produce mm. of his life, no? of Jesus' life. And that's how he is timeless, and that's mm. what he wants, yeah? Mm. But she said yes, and that was her freedom to say yes. She was so free, mm. she could say yes. She didn't say no, you know, like we do. She said yes, because she's free. And she loves back. She knows she's loved, and she loves back. She gets frightened because it's so holy, mm. but not frightened in a sinful way, mm. but in an astonished way, mm. you know? Mm. And, and, and it's beautiful, I think. It's lovely. We, from her, we can learn how good he is. Mm -hmm. Our Father in Heaven, yes, yeah, very much so. Amazing. Yes, and He's really big, mm. my gosh. Praise uh, the Lord. Huge, yeah, wonderful. It is. Yes. We have a few minutes left on the show, um, Melona. Would you like to just say something about your own experience recently, maybe? Yes, of, about of the Father? The, of, about the Father. Yes, yes, I got a wonderful surprise, because 40 years ago, I met the huge God, the Father, under her mantle. I think I would have like sort of died otherwise, because he's so huge. But there's truth about that. Yes. There's, there's oh my golly, Wally. His majesty. And his, oh boy, yeah. he's like ma. Yeah. Nobody can withstand that. You, yes. you can't. It's just no. so huge. Yes. It's so holy, you know. Oh. Holy. Yo, yes. yo, That's yo, it. and so life. Yeah. And I'm like a dead stone in comparison, so I can't, yeah. yeah? yeah. And I was under her mantle, so I was okay because she can mm. deal with that. But she brings him to. And, um, and then now, recently I was in Costa Rica with Father Pablo Esquiva de yes. Romani, and um, that's a mission that they have. It's called 
getting to know God the Father, honor Him and give Him His place. Beautiful. And it's a sort of retreat in different etapes, how do you say that, in different stages. stages, stages. And it was every day adoration of the Blessed, Sac of the Blessed Sacrament, the Rosary and Holy Mass, every day. And then we walked and, and up into the hills to the indigenous and then to a retreat house up in the rainforest. And it took us out into nature because it says in nature you meet the Creator as well. Mm -hmm. And we were looking at the birds, it was beautiful, like mm -hmm. here, you know, mm -hmm. the red mm -hmm. ibis and all that. I mean, yeah. you just melt. Mm -hmm. And there, he, Father Paolo just simply said one word <clears throat> and he said, there was a sunset like those sunsets that you can't forget. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, the Father's painting his beauty. And in that sentence, when he said the word Father, mm. that same feeling came back, that same mm. presence came, wow. like the first day in Medjugorje, or the first wow. experience, but into me this time. Because wow. there's 40 years of school in between. Yes. And it didn't scare me. It went, wow. whoa, you know, and there he was again. And wow. he gave me strength, wow. unbelievable strength. I'm completely the same. I have a different strength inside and a confidence wow. and a, confirmation maybe yes of self yes. and i needed it i didn't know because i didn't know nothing but i never know anything actually i just experienced <laughs> it afterwards i kind of i beg to differ but i do <laughs> you beg to differ but it's the feeling of yes. boom oh, what's going yes. on and then suddenly everything falls into place mm. and that gave me the possibility to be with Rhonda, listen here and come to to trinidad mm. like and she then told me your mission i said i don't have mission i don't have ministry i don't know nothing it's not true because there comes a time the father confirms mm. i send you out mm. and then the others confirm it i never i, mm. I don't go and feel mm. that but they say it and mm. then i can respond mm -hmm. it's never self-made but that happened in costa rica and it mm. made it possible for me to do that here what mm. we're doing together mm. because i'm a translator i'm just an assistant i'm nothing yeah and i'm still nothing but i'm receiving the confidence by the Lord to go and speak because oh, no, it's you, scary I, stuff, you, you know. Have, you have a serious mission, <laughs> but you see, but yeah, but you know that I don't know that, you know, yeah, well, you do. because it has to be confirmed by others. Yes, we can't self proclaim yeah. our missions, no, for sure. they don't exist. And the Lord leads, and often, yes, it's, it's, and it's through the church, yeah. through the priests, they know when something and is authentic call. or not. They call. Yeah, they do, and they have. Yeah they have and, and that is the long friendships and I learn so much you know all yeah. the time yeah. but you see yourself what it's like yeah. you know all mm. this and I find Trinidad amazing I mean really yeah, truly oh we, boy no, I'm gonna boast a little bit no boast, we, we have please. an we have an amazing country yes you do and there's and a there special light good dough, a you know? special presence here yes and yeah. you have a good fertile ground in people's yeah. hearts extraordinary I find amazing yes yeah. like really truly and I think we're also, this whole 33 day journey I think we're We've been poised for the Eucharistic Lord. I think yeah. that we, we, we can Everybody carry this follows, as, a, you know? as a nation in a very powerful way in to a tremendous Eucharistic soul. Yes, and in Barbados every day as well. People we are, did yeah. the, 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 yeah. that, oh, that thing, and here we do it as well. Incredible. That thing, on t everybody gathers in front of television and follows it. <laughs> the same, the whole community is really nice, you know? And it's just lovely because everybody gathers around it already. Yeah. It's a beginning yeah. of what adoration means. You yes. gather around that moment. You know, we did that in Barbados with Living Waters, yeah. we did it here. And that is a way, that's what adoration is as well. You yeah. gather yeah. around him and you learn yeah. and then you become different. You become yeah. united differently yeah. with him and among ourselves. Amazing. Yes, it's really lovely. What struck me about what you said there, I think just for our, for our viewers who are listening to us, there's the beauty of the spiritual life. You, s mm. you spoke about 40 years, mm. but there's always more with the Lord. Oh boy, yes. you know, so it's like, a beginning. We, it's a beginning. Mm, yeah, but there's it's a new so beginning. much more ahead in our spiritual journey. It's not boring. Never. Never. It's boring. full of surprises. <laughs> full of when you really allow Him, and you crosses, know? Yes. And what Father Pablo always used to say, no limits, don't put limits to the Lord. We have to repeat yeah. that. Yeah. No limits today, no limits, and he gives you the strength, he does. Yeah, yeah. Not to put limits, because the limits are always a fear, isn't it? Yeah, it I is can't always, cope, I can't, yeah. and we can't, because we're little. Well, we're but he gives so. strength, he yeah. really does. He gives physical strength yeah. also, so mental strength. So much what he can do with our yes. Yes, oh yes. Alona, we're just we're in our last minute of our show. Can I just uh, invite you to say a prayer, and then I can give a blessing to, to our viewers. Just yes. any prayer from your heart. Yes. Father, I thank you. I thank you for sending Our Lady to us, the Mother of Jesus, whom you gave to her through the Holy Spirit. And I thank you for traveling with us and sending us to one another to share, to exchange, and like we say, share the blessings. And Lord, thank you. Thank you so much for the blessings you give to us, to all your people, and together 
that we become your family, like our Holy Father says, the human family. And we know the fruit of the coming of your mother is brotherhood. When we have you, our Father, together, the Mother, the Son, the Holy Spirit that makes us one. I thank you. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of us, all of us viewers, and for our program. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Thank you for making this 33-day journey with us. I hope it has been life-changing for you, as it has been for me. May the Lord bless you.